it's always easier to connect the dots backward. So I, I'm very interested to know how you were able to connect the dots forward, you know, and, and what tips can you give them? Because this does make a difference. I think you have to have some expertise in some area, right? Uh, whatever your whatever your area is, right? I, by accident, I went into sort of actually writing code, right? And, you know, we're living in an environment where writing code is like probably a huge competency relative to even 20 to 30 years back. And I think you're probably living in an environment where you can truly be an all-rounder and truly be successful. You can actually, you know, compared to the times we were growing up in access to information, even pre-chat GPT-4, my God, you know, the environment you guys are operating in is just phenomenal. There's not a topic that you can't research and learn on your own at your convenience. Um, so my words of wisdom, advice, old man's, you know, words, whatever, take it whatever you want. Try and invest in yourself in becoming, you know, well-rounded in terms of what you understand. So if you are deep in uh, IT, God bless, do that for the first sort of 10 years of your life, but then go T-shaped, as we call it now. You've got to understand commerciality. You've got to understand customers and, you know, what matters to them. You have to understand regulation. And for a lot of organizations, problem solving is a multidimensional sport. It's not, you know, you can't just bat or bowl. You've got to do a bit of everything. And I would encourage you to sort of invest in yourself in understanding all of that, wherever you work as well. There are enough people that, you know, or operate in your organization from where, you know, you should be learning and just, you know, remain sort of uh, curious all the time to learn. I think that is, that is a big deal because it's very tough to be in exactly the right place at exactly the right time. It's, it's very rare, right? That's why you have very few CEOs and CEOs of a top 100 organization. Beyond that team, there's no sort of formulaic way of uh, success. It is a lot of hard work. And I'm sure, you know, if you look back on your careers, if you work for 10 years and you work 220 days a year, there are probably 200 average days, 10 terrible ones and 10, you know, amazing ones. And that's what defines most of our careers. So being on the pitch for 220 and working your backside off is very critical. And you'll find the 10 days that matter that take you probably to the next level of your uh, career aspiration.